Hello everybody, my name is Liam and I welcome you to my tutorial on the lightweight Java game library. So the first thing we want to do is well first make sure you know how to set up Eclipse, make sure you know at least some Java before attempting this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to get started with LWJG is go to the download section. The download button and select the .zip file. Okay, then you go to the installation section and click on the slick util library. Scroll down right here. The slick util .jar and .zip can be found here. Download the .jar. Okay. Now you want to store these somewhere where you can access them easily. So is my LWGGL 2.8.3 and the slick util. Okay. So when, once you've downloaded and extracted those, you want to go in to Eclipse, right click on your pro Java project, select properties, Java build path, and then on the libraries tab, click add external jars. I'm going to start with the LWJGL jar. So go to LWJGL folder, jar, and we want J import LWJGL, LWJGL underscore so util and LZMA. Okay, then open these up. Uh, click native library location, edit, external folder, find where you saved it WGL native windows and when you select the folder that applies for your operating system so copy that click OK and then just repeat the process for each one Okay, now we want to add another external jar, which will be our slick util. So find that library, and then select slick dash util that jar. And we don't have to add a class and native library location for that because it doesn't come in one. Click OK, and we've now got all our libraries. Click a new package, com dot game dot source and a new class. So in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to create a display. So just create a window. So we want to name our class display. Then up at the top we want to import static org dot OWGGL dot OpenGL dot GL11 star then down here you want to add your main method void main string buckets arcs in our main method we're going to say new display so just call the display class create a default constructor just so we will do all the setting up Okay, so now we have to create a display. We're going to have to create a try block. We want to say display dot mm, oh display. We have to rename our fault file. So. Source con game source rename game refresh our thing okay so now that 
that is fixed. We go down here and remove this. Try block display dot set display mode new display mode 800 by 600 control shift o to import and you want to import the org dot lwjgl dot opengl dot display mode not the java dot org display mode then we want to set the tile display dot set title display demo display dot set resizable to false so we can't resize it and finally create the display and then we have to add our catch or our try and we're going to use that lwjgl exception name it e control shift o to import e dot print stack trace system dot out dot print line <coughs> sorry my voice my throat hurts so I'm going to say error in class game dot java line 21 and we're going to say display dot destroy and system dot exit and we'll pass in one as a parameter ok now this is just a mind for the next episode probably this episode we're going to initialize our OpenGL ok so now we want to create our rendering loop so to create a rendering loop put while display dot is close requested so this little exclamation mark here means whatever the opposite of this is so whilst it's not being closed down and we're going to clear the screen of our gl underscore color underscore buffer underscore bit hmm. gl11 dot gl underscore color underscore buffer bit then we remove this hmm. ah we didn't import import static org dot lwjgl dot open gl dot gl11 dot star and then the statement will be oh what did I do there ok so this is going to clear our screen off whatever's there we want to sync our we want to sync our game to a certain frames per second so I'll put 70 when we want to update for this display display dot dis no update then after this while loop so when it is closed we go to display dot destroy and system dot exit okay, so this is our this is how you create a display not a resizable one if you want to create a resizable one there is a tutorial on vlwjgl.org website so when we hit play we get a black window that's all at the moment so in this tutorial I'm also going to cover initializing our OpenGL so first we want to set our matrix mode to gl underscore projection and we want to load the identity 
then GL matrix mode GL underscore model view. Okay, so we are creating a 2D game, so we want to set up a 2D display. So to do this, we're going to call GL ortho to create an orthographic 2D representation. And here we're going to pass in the x, y with height, c var and c near power. So when we start at x zero, we go up to 800. Y zero go up to 600. Then minus one and one. Minus one, one and one are to show that it's a 2D game and not a 3D game. If these were different, then it would basically put items in the distance and such and just for this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a quad which is basically a square so GL begin GL underscore quads GL end so this is saying begin making the quadratic shape then end it okay and in between these we're going to want to put GL vertex to F GL vertex to F GL vertex to F and GL vertex to F now these are the corners of the square so let's say 50 in 50 up 50 and we want this to have a width of 200 so plus 150 then 50 put a dot put, I put a period there instead for some reason so then I'll put comments in here to explain this in a minute it's hard to explain on the go and 50 and 50 plus 150 okay so this is the bottom left of our square this is the bottom right this is the top right Whoops. and this is the top left so when we hit play I have made a mistake somewhere Looks like it's the top right one, 50 plus, yeah, there, 50 plus 150. So here we've got a square. You can set the colour of this square by going up above. GL colour 3F, no, 4F, because I want to show you how to create transparent squares, while opaque. So we have to pass in a red, green, blue, and an alpha. So we want it to have a colour of red. So zero F and then we want it to be solid. So when we click play, solid red square, change the alpha to 0 0.3. Hmm. Let's see I'm not sure why that's happening. Geo clear GL underscore colour. So let me check this here. Quad. GL clear, GL. Def. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure why this isn't working. Vertex 2 is really good. Display the update. It's in our loop. Is it just a bug? No. Change this to a 1, this to a minus 1. Will it work then? No. Hmm. Zero F transparency. We can still see it. So, yeah, something's gone wrong here. Well, 
we don't really need to know transparency at the moment so we can just remove the alpha so right now we just have this we can actually create two things up here to create a small animation so int width and height say equals 150 equals 150 scroll down here 50 plus 50 50 plus width width height and then height again then once it's done this we want to call the we want to say width plus plus and height plus plus so now each time this loop runs it's going to increment the values and it should just make us go grow yeah see it will create a small animation which will just grow our square not the best thing but it will do so I'm just going to remove this change 150 150 150 150 and then we can remove these two so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial um, it's not hopefully I explained it good enough if not leave a question in the comments if you don't understand something before uh, before consulting me, always consult wikis and the tutorials on the website. So, this was the Agonizing Broadcast. Have a good day.